Keep watching because I'm going to recommend to you three magic books for beginners. Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you're not, let's get straight into it. One of the most popular things you get asked as a magician, well, apart from how do you do it and can you make my wife disappear, is how do I get into magic? Now there's various ways and there's various answers to that question, but one of the things I want to recommend are three magic books for beginner magicians. Now before magicians start going mad in the comment section, there are loads of magic books to recommend for magicians. I'm only going to recommend three. There are more out there. I could do another video if it's required, but these three I personally own. So without further ado, let's get into the first one. Now, if you ask this question to any magician, what books would you recommend for a beginner magician? This book will undoubtedly come out on top. What is it? It's the Mark Wilson's Complete Course in Magic. And when I say it's a complete course, it's exactly that. It's like an encyclopedia of magic. It's a complete course. So, who is Mark Wilson? Well, Mark Wilson is an American magician. He's still with us. He's 90 year old, I think he is. And he's regarded as the first major television magician. He launched his first TV magic show called Time for Magic in 1955 on a local station. And then in 1960, the magic land of Alakazam aired nationally. Mark Wilson's last appearance on TV was in 2015 when he appeared on Penn and Teller Foolers as part of his son's Greg Wilson's finale for his act. So the book itself, it was first produced in 1975 and in 1996, a pocket edition called The Cyclopedia of Magic was also published. This book is close to 500 pages and it is made up of essentially 26 main chapters. The first 14 chapters concentrate on card magic with different slights and moves, and also effects. It then goes into money magic, rope magic, silk handkerchief magic, impromptu magic, mental magic, betches, make it home magic, sponge ball magic, billiard ball magic, cups and balls, and magic illusions. Now the book throughout is black and white. There are black and white photos and the illustrations are drawn illustrations of how to do things. But it doesn't take away from anything within the book. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, digging back into this book, you will always find something new. This book is still widely available today. I will leave a link in the description if you want to pick it up. But my recommendation for number one, definitely, is the Mark Wilson course in magic. My second book, now I'm going to read this from the front page because I'm on take 15 and I keep messing it up because it's a bit of a tongue twister. So it is Magical Illusions, Conjuring Tricks, Amazing Puzzles. <laughs> Magical Illusions, Conjuring Tricks, Amazing Puzzles and Stunning Stunts. There you go. And it's by British magician Nick Einhorn. So who is Nick Einhorn? Well, what matters these days is he's a pen and teller fooler. Now, Nick Einhorn is one of my favourite magicians. I use a lot of his effects. Uh, I've got a lot of his books and lecture notes. He's a gold star member of the Inner Magic Circle. He's the Magic Circle Close-Up Magician of the Year, 1996, 2002 and 2005. He also won the All Winners Special Competition, becoming the first ever Magic Circle Centenary Close-Up Magician. And of course, he's a published author, selling more than 1 million copies worldwide. And if you're a football fan, he's been the resident magician at Tottenham Hotspur for many years. So get down there and have a look at him. So let's talk about the book. This book was first published in 2007 and it's got various different iterations depending on the country that you're in. It's got 256 pages containing seven main chapters from close up magic to party tricks, optical illusions, stunts and puzzles, stand-up magic, stage illusions, and then finally putting on a show. The pages are all glossy, full colour photographs of Nick performing and explaining each effect. When you get to the end, the last chapter is putting on a show. It tells you how to make magic wand invitations if you're doing it for a party, how to set the stage, it even gives you a sample act and even some sample running orders. Excellent for a beginner magician. At the back, he tells you how to learn more, such as visit your local library. He recommends joining a local magic society. He lists some magic organizations, but they're national ones. He also lists some magazines, which are great to learn more on a monthly basis. And also some magic shops throughout the world, not just the UK. 
So there you go. Number two in my recommended books is Nick Einhorn's book that I keep getting tongue twisted tied on. There'll be a link in the description. Check it out. My third and final book to recommend is a book primarily aimed at children. It's called A Book of Magic for Young Magicians, The Secrets of Alcazar by Alan Zola Kronzek. Now, strangely, this book doesn't feature highly when magicians recommend books for beginners. And I think that's because it's quite unknown, but it's a fantastic book, especially for children. I only found out about this a few years ago when it was recommended on a forum when someone was asking the same question. I'd never heard about it, so I picked it up. I've read it and it's excellent. Even for those established magicians, have a read of it. You just might learn something new. Who's Alan Kronzek? He's a magician. He's an author and he's a teacher and he's put together a fantastic book for young magicians. So why do I recommend this book? It's 121 pages made up mainly of 12 main chapters. This direction, the handling, secrets, presentation, patter, repetition, three chapters on cards, naturalness, routining and performance and a bit of an afterword. Now it's predominantly all text. Illustrations are used when it's used to emphasize a point and they are all hand-drawn illustrations. And it tells you a story of a young boy being taught by Alcazar. And that's what I like about it. It's a real easy read. The story element keeps children involved while learning some principles of magic and not just the principles they are actually learning tricks each chapter will teach an effect something that they can go ahead and practice and use and try out while also emphasizing the point that it's trying to make depending on the chapter that it's in and it goes all the way through and there's a lovely line right at the end when we're talking about the end, and I'll read it out for you. And it's Alcazar's belief, it has become mine, that a magician's apprenticeship must be devoted to mastering the fundamental principles on which effective magic is built. And that's what this book is all about. It's those fundamentals that possibly young magicians forget about and just want to get straight into a trick to try and fool people without mastering those core values of being a magician. Like I said earlier, even though it's a children's book, this is recommended for all beginner magicians, but this would be my number one recommendation for children wanting to start out in magic. It's a fantastic read. Sometimes it can be hard to find. I'll leave a link below so you can pick it up. It's really, really good value for money. So there you go. If you're just starting out in magic or want to get into it, whether you're a child or an adult, those three books will get you on your way. If you enjoyed that, please give me a like. If you want to see some more recommendations, please just let me know in the comments and I'll get onto it. If you haven't subscribed yet, click up here. And if you haven't seen any of my videos, I'll drop one here so you can have a look at that. Until next time, guys, catch you later.